G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Yep. G'day, I'm Gavin Hurley from Pro Angler and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're not in a pretty little stream somewhere, we're actually driving out of Mordialic Creek into Port Phillip Bay. Uh, just going on to some, some the lovely bridges now which uh, run a lot of your people to the, the city for, uh, for work. And out here we've got a lot of salmon at the moment, some really big schools. They're even a little early at, at the moment, we're into um, the start of March. Uh, but we've got some really good schools, so we're going to target those on, on like a little minnow fly and uh, hopefully we can show you a few salmon and that you, you don't just get them on lures or trolling, you can actually target them on the fly as well and they're an awful lot of fun. So I uh, hope you enjoy seeing what Port Phillip Bay and the salmon fishing is all about. Excellent. It's a couple of, uh, we haven't seen a big school yet, but a couple of disturbances on the top and a few birds overhead. And a couple of casts, oh, he's got a bit of go there too. And we've been, uh, it's, it's, it all looks pretty flat out here when you get into the bay, but little things like some little birds and they were uh, diving down to get the, the bait fish, which will be either little white bait or uh, in this case, we're probably gonna be into some little blue bait and little pilchards. And uh, that just signifies where, where the bait's going to be and these bigger fish are going to be targeting that. So uh, there's a couple little swirls on the surface. We just concentrate our cast around that and sure enough there was a uh, yeah, good fish just hanging around the bottom. We've got a, like a, a bait fish which is probably a good four inches long. And that just moves a little bit of water and it, it uh, looks like a, a wounded bait fish and certainly did the trick on this one. I always do like to get it, to play it off the reel. So uh, even though there's not too much on the uh, bottom of the boat, I just like to have it nice and clean and play it off the reel. It's not going to get tangled around anything. Right, oh, we'll get him in and back out. There we go. Now you're not going to see it on camera, but he's. Uh, He's probably about a pound, but just solid muscle. There's uh, not an inch of fat on him. And you look at that fly, he certainly wanted that one. That's right, so that's what's doing the trick. Looks like a little pilchard or a blue bait. And we'll get him back in. We'll just throw him back in. He's good. And he'll just grow a bit bigger for when you get uh, time to get out and catch him. Beautiful. We need a bigger one. Now how good's this? Like uh, just over my shoulder, you've got the city of, uh, of Melbourne. And probably about half an hour ago, I was hard at work in the shop. And then uh, you whack the boat in at Mordialic and you're out here. 
in amongst this lovely cool breeze, right in summer. Casting a fly line is just fantastic. All you need is a fish on the end every now and then and you're going to have a great time. I like with that, uh, like a minnow pattern, you're casting that out and just a nice little strip retrieve and just make it dart along and uh, they tend to, to find that pretty appealing, like that there. So that's what we're after, and that's what makes salmon fishing so good, is that when you can get a few around here, a couple of casts, and you're gonna get hits, you know, quite a, you know, a lot of the time. And they're great fun for, for their, their actual weight. Um, they're awesome, and I mean, just that's peeling off line. He'll only be, who knows how big, maybe, like some of the others, maybe a pound or so, but, um, that's terrific, and he might have just got off, but uh, oh, there's another one here chasing him, yeah. So there's quite a good school, that's one got off then. We don't want to grizzle too much, but you just get that cast out there. There'll be quite a few fish around here, so uh, with a bit of luck, once I unhook all this, we'll get another fish on. There we go, good. That's what it's about, just that nice darty movement in there and to give them a bit of stick. <laughs> and they're great fun. This is an eight weight. This is a Thomas & Thomas TNT saltwater rod, magnificent for bone fish, awesome. And this is getting pulled like absolute buggery down to these, uh, these fish that are like a pound. And just great fun. I mean, you could do this literally all day. In fact, we have sometimes too, so uh, yeah. And again, just a little, they're all, all very similar size. We'll just get him in. But as we've spoken about before, they are literally just full of muscle. As if they're a lazy fish, they do a lot of kilometers and uh, just a good big forked tail, gets a lot of power, a lot of muscle in there. And they just love that fly. Just like a, can you imagine if you're used to bait fishing, you know, your blue bait, you know, that you'd use off a pier or uh, in the surf. Well, these are the ones that eat it. Beautiful fish. Good to go. Perfect. Just off Melbourne. Beautiful. You gotta do it.